राम जय राम जय जय राम
times the same mantra, but nobody will repeat. We will try to chant mentally. Instead of vocal chanting, we will try to train our mind to have mental chanting. The year 2022 has just gone and we are entering into 2023. At the end of every year, on 31st December midnight, the whole world would witness a transition. At the end of every year, on 31st December midnight, the whole world will witness a transition, bidding farewell to the passing year and warmly welcoming a new year with a lot of excitement and expectation. Plenty of things change on this precise moment. Our calendar being the most conspicuous one. During this season, there are evident changes in Mother Nature too. Nights have become considerably cooler. Many trees shed their lush foliage to conserve their energy. Birds and animals cope with the seasonal changes with adaptation, hibernation and migration. On this occasion, it is worth remembering that Jagat, the Sanskrit word for the world, means that which moves or changes. Jagat, 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 Jagat. That is called Jagat. We will see movement even in what we normally call dead matter. If we examine it carefully with a microscope, at molecular level, particles are in constant motion and vibration. If everything is moving, changing and evolving constantly, what is there that remains changeless and at the same time directs and determines these changes without a fail? If everything is moving, changing, evolving constantly, what is there that remains changeless and at the same time directs and determines these changes without a fail. The first two lines of the very first shloga of the first of the ten principal Upanishads, Ishavashya answers it crystally clear. Ishavashyam idam sarvam 
yatinjaya jagatyam jagate everything in the entire universe is enveloped by god whatever exists in this ever changing world is full of supreme reality what it means in layman's language is that the almighty lord not only created the universe but is also present in all of it in every place in every creature there is no such place where he is not if we grasp this foundational understanding of our own very existence mm-hmm. then we would be able to better adapt to these constant and inevitable changes that happen within us among us around us beyond us bhagavan ravana maharshi has often used the analogy of a cinema screen where the film keeps changing depicting all kinds of emotions while the screen itself does not change at all through this apt example he reminds us how our indwelling infinite reality remains constant while its manifold manifestations arise stay for a while and pass this understanding that this universe is prudently and ingeniously managed by the great provider would offer us sort of a mental cushion to positively accept all situations however unbearable they might appear to be if we come to acknowledge that our very existence itself is nothing more than a microscopic blip in the whole scheme of this endless universe we would worry much less about our problems and struggles which are anyway bound to arise pass in due course of time shrimad bhagavatam reminds us that the whole of life is indeed the leela of the lord in which he himself is the hero and the villain the actor and the audience the director and the producer the song and the silence and even the very stage on which the drama is enacted the best actors are those who can completely immerse their private lives in the personality of the character they are portraying so also in this cosmic drama the supreme actor creates recreates roles after roles papa reminds us do not forget that you live and move in a world which is really a passing show do not be attached to it nor be in any way identified with it take the whole world game for what it is worth having known this truth our duty here in this world is clear we have to play our role to perfection in constant remembrance of the cosmic director on this momentous occasion we wish we hope we pray that every devotee assembled here who take this message home and consider it as their firm resolve for the years ahead so this is the message we have been blessed with we will accept the changes we will not say that this should not happen this should not happen everything will happen as a matter of course so we have to accept everything what we have been trying to understand through the in depth study of in quest of god we try to accept everything as ordained by the cosmic director let us keep on hammering this truth to ourselves so that we will be able to lead a peaceful purposeful blissful mm-hmm. life with a prayer from the bottom of the heart we tra- we pray to the almighty lord of the universe to bless us with this vision with this perspective with this approach in 2023 which has just come which has just come to exist with that bhavana we will have again mantra swarupa ram naam for 10 minutes om shri ram jay
राम जय राम जय जय राम ओ Chanting will be going on, usual chanting, and then ladies will get up. They will take the prasad from there, take kumkum prasad from here, and then they will go, one one line. 
and a lot of a lot of people will be chanting ram now om shri ram jay ram jay ara salam kodukkaram ram jay ram jay jay ram